I'm very excited today and the reason I am because the product research tool which used to cost 30 pound it's now absolutely free. So what I'm gonna do in this video I'm gonna show you how to use eBay Tira Peak. That's number one. We're gonna find a product using eBay Tira Peak. I'm gonna show you all the process on the screen right here and the third thing we're gonna figure out how much money we're gonna need to launch that product as well. In order for you to find the eBay Tira Peak tool all you have to do is go inside your selling. After the selling, just go inside the seller central and from seller central, you will see a tab which will be called research. So when you click on the research, you're gonna see two tabs. On the first tab, which is going to be Tira Peak product research tool. And the second is going to be Tira Peak product insights. I'm gonna show you what insights mean because that's a very handy feature which is built inside. So let's first talk about what eBay Tira Peak sourcing insight means. Okay, here we are inside the Tira Peak sourcing insight. Inside that one, depending on what product you sell on your so store, existing products, it will give you recommend recommendation based on the categories and niche that you are selling here at the moment. So first of all, uh, because I sell mobile phone and accessories and uh, it, it is telling me the charges and docks which I sell already. So the, what was the main thing which I was interested in? Uh, he, here I, I wanna explain it to you a little bit because if you see the people who are searching, searching for charges and docks, they are 270,000 people in last 30 days. Those are the people who are searching in charges and docks. It's it's a biggest opportunity. But the thing is active listings, there are many active listings as well. At the end, if you see what are your chances, what are your sell through rate, it will tell you the chances of listing the product with chances, chances of selling the product with going to be about 6.90%. It's, it's not too bad, it's not too great as well. But what I was interested in most, if you see the search volume for the audio docs and mini speakers at the moment, audio docs and mini speakers are 260, 260,000, 200, and then active listings are around 69,000, which doesn't really bother me as well. Uh, and but, but the thing is here, you have to look one thing. The sell to rate percentage on this one is about 10.82, which is great. So, you know, when the opportunity comes like this, I don't miss it. This is the product that we recently launched. This is the mini speaker, which is a portable speaker. And it does make sense because the summer is coming. A lot of people are gonna be playing a music outside and it can be very helpful. That's why Tira Peak Sourcing Insight Tool is suggesting me to get into that product. That's how it can be helpful for you. Based on what you are selling, the recommendation which will come to you might be a little bit different because it is personalized to each and every seller depending on what category they are selling in. This is the one. But if you wanna find a new product, then what you will have to do is you will have to go inside the Tira Peak product research tool. And I'm gonna go through that tool as well. I'm gonna explain you how that tool work and we're gonna find one product and we're gonna see how much money we need to actually buy that product as well, how much budget is going to be. So quickly, let's go to eBay product research tool. It is very simple to use. Even you were using it for the first time, I'm gonna really simplify all the process for you so you will know exactly what to do to find the ideal products right here. So let's just walk through how to use it, okay? It's gonna, I'm gonna make it really simple. Here, it's very simple where you intend to list the product wherever the eBay is available, it's gonna show all of that. I'm based in UK, I'm gonna select eBay.co.uk. If you're based in America, you will select eBay.com. So eBay.co.uk is for me, okay? Normally what's gonna happen when you're gonna come inside, it's gonna look like this. I don't want you to use it like that. I want you to go and click for advanced search. Advanced doesn't mean it's gonna get complicated if you're talking to me. I, I keep the thing simple and I, I will explain you in a simple way as well. Okay, so the product that we, we need the analytics on has to be new because we're gonna go for a new product. And then the buyer location already has to be United Kingdom as well. So we're quickly gonna se uh, select United Kingdom, seller location as well, United Kingdom as well, because we don't wanna wait for 
three years to get the products from China. So I want to compete with the sellers who are selling it from UK. It will be easier for me to, uh, you know, personalize my search according to that as well. Okay. In the pandemic, what is the most things that people really need? They are working from a house and even though everything is open back to now, but still a lot of people are working from the house as well. So what were my idea was we need to see how the foldable tables are doing. We So we will search that foldable laptop tables. So foldable laptop stands. We're going to go for foldable laptop stand and table there are two of them it, it is telling all the words so here is the first thing that you have to keep in mind okay it is giving you all the keywords which the people are using to list the product that they have so if you want to do your keyword research just come here type a little bit about the title of the product that you want to sell and then just copy and paste the things which are it is showing you inside the recommendation. The reason it's showing you this recommendation because a lot of people are looking for these kind of things as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly look for foldable laptop stand and the reason I'm looking for this product because a lot of people working when they are sitting in a bed, if they have a stand or even if they are in a living room, I, I mean these products are in high demand at the moment and it's not going to cost you a lot of money to actually launch that product as well. So here is the interesting thing. You've done all that, okay? We come into our stats a little bit right here. Now, what this is telling me, here you can actually change for last 30 days or you can go up to one year as well. If you really want to see how the product is going over the period of time, how the product is going, but I always try my best to actually go just look in last 30 days because if the product is selling, then it's mean it, it, it's going to show a lot of stats. So let's look for last 30 days. Here is the things that we need to look at that little bit. These are not the, not the things which are active. These are the things which are actually sold already. So the first of all, what we need to keep in mind, the average selling price for the table which are being sold are 17 pound. So it's mean just to give you an idea, if you are looking to buy a foldable table stand, you know this is the price that you need to keep in mind. The lower the price is, the chances will be better for you to actually sell that product as well. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna find one one product and I'm gonna show you how much budget you actually need for that as well. Okay. But actually, it's telling you all the range as well. So normally start from 395, go up to around 60 pound for this one. Uh, the postage, forget the postage. 93 of them are selling with the free postage as well. So keep in mind, if you need to be competitive, you need to offer the free postage on this one. This is a very interesting thing that you need to keep in mind right here. Okay, 8,070 pound sales came from just single this keyword right here in last 30 days on eBay. So here, what, what it will tell you, I can filter that with the price. I can filter that with how many has been sold. I can filter that with, with, the, with the total sale as well and from the date as well. I don't normally change this because these always work in my favor anyway. So whatever the listing is going to be in the top, this is the listing it's going to show you right here. So this is the listing. So right here, it is telling you the average price they are selling it for is 12 pound. And in last 30 days, this sold 127 of them. And the last one, you have to make sure this product is keep selling as well. Today is 28th of April when I'm recording this video. It's 28th of April that the last one was sold today as well. And even if you go to another one, these are very much recent sales as well. Okay. Now, but you know, this product is selling already. I don't normally go through the sell through rate and all, all those sort of things. You know, you don't have to worry about it. The reason I don't worry about it because it also gonna depend on how much you source your product for as well. So sell through rate, which comes inside the eBay Tira peak, don't worry about that. Just look at the prices at the moment because this is going to be the most major thing for most of the people. But you don't have to be cheapest one, um, just to make it clear. But in this case, we're gonna be 
the cheapest one just to make a profit just to make it easy for you as you can see the price that is being sold for is around 17 pound in this category you can actually search anything it's gonna just give you all the analytics and everything around that but only things you have to keep in mind just look at the top listing and and try to assess how it's going to apply to your circumstances as well okay now i decided okay this one is doing well okay i just want to start a little bit i'm gonna put around 500 to 1000 pound it's not a big money let's keep it 500 pound i'm not gonna go above 500 pound right here okay so if i have to launch this product for 500 pound okay first of all the things which i'm gonna going to do is i'm gonna go to alibaba.com and i'm gonna explain you how to buy this product from there and we're gonna try to figure out how much profit we're gonna make from this product so you can keep on repeating this pro uh, process to actually find the products which will actually sell for you as well so let's go to alibaba.com so here i am on alibaba.com you can see on a screen I done the same thing. I done the foldable laptop stand. You can search in other way as well. What you can do, you can copy the picture of the product that I just shown you on eBay and you can upload the picture and search by image right here as well. But I'm just gonna see the variety of the things just to get an idea what is the buying price for this one and how much profit can I potentially make on this product? Is it worth selling for me? Is it worth risking 500 pound or not? Or you can go with a small quantity as well and try how it work for you. So first of all, you can see on alibaba.com right on the top right on the top there are many of them keep in mind the average selling price was 17 pound and cheapest price was around 12 pound that was the cheapest price so if we look at at the first one i don't have to go a lot into deeper as well the average price here on alibaba.com is coming around three to four dollars so three to four dollar is going to be around i believe if you if you go for uh, let's say a uh, hundred of these around hundred of these the cost of the product with landing with the landing of with the landing cost as well because this price is in dollar you can get it around four pound I'm talking about pound this price is showing in the dollars okay so if one product will cost four pound okay how many products that you can buy in 500 pound you can buy over 100 products as well so you you can start even smaller you can start with the 50 of them as well and the minimum requirement for this listing right here is 100 pieces but the problem is how you actually talk to the supplier what is the process to buy the things from the alibaba one thing i would like to tell you anything that you see on alibaba any seller who is selling a product on alibaba they need approval to be on alibaba website alibaba check their documentation and each and everything and regardless whatever the way you use to send the money as well uh, most of the time you're gonna be safe okay but there are a couple of things that you can do to really secure yourself so for example this person is selling for around three years you and then the name of the uh, the company that you have to keep in mind as well if the name of the company sound a lot western then most likely they are going to be some sort of agent if the name of the company sounds like very chinese uh, it's it mean that they are actually factory i don't want to buy from agent i do i want to buy from a factory so i normally look at the names how the name is going to be how long they are selling it for their rating is five star here as well so i i have no problem going with the supplier as well so around 400 pound i get 100 of, uh, i get 100 of these the cost is going to be around four pound and you can see the cheapest one was around 12 pound so by even if you add the postage even if you add each and everything you are going to make around three to four pound on each and every product that you sell so 500 pound will actually double your money you will make 500 pound with 500 pound because you're making potentially around four to five pound on each and every product as well in the meantime if you if you want to see how to increase your sale make sure you check this video right here where i talked about seven tips to improve the ebay sales thank you so much i will see you in that video